y'all. Russ here, our very TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Highway 35. We're heading south. Just leaving up in the Dayton area yesterday. Wasn't that cool? Those museums. Wright Brothers. The Air Force Museum. That thing was massive. I'm still tired walking all that. If you haven't seen it, check out those videos. But we're heading down to the Ohio River. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. It is early morning, about 6.15, sun just getting up. It's supposed to be a hot day, hot and humid today. Should be a little rest area up here. We're gonna stop so I can get the cameras mounted on the outside of the van. Then we can get busy on our day. made it. Everything nice and green yet. Be fall time here pretty soon. Probably cool fall colors. What a busy road for a U.S. highway. That's a four-lane freeway. <laughs> A lot of people live down here. This is Southern Ohio. We're heading down to a little town called Gallup Police. Hope I pronounce it correct. It's right on the river. Old, old town. And yes, there's the new window that messed up a lot of travel here. But it's still in there. Brand new. Nice and shiny too, huh? So in case you missed it, uh, that window was uh, destroyed by a rock. I got stuck up in Michigan for almost three weeks. So all travel has changed. There's the rear camera, all magnetic mounted up there. That's a GoPro Hero 9. And here's the one for the front, which is a GoPro Hero 10. So just a few more miles, then we'll get into town. Then uh, from Gallup Police, we're gonna go across a bridge. Matter of fact, uh, there's a lot of history. Uh, it's called the Silver Bridge. Many, many years ago, the old original bridge collapsed. I think it was around Christmas time. I, I don't remember. We'll, we'll try to find out the history down here. And I was reading quite a bit about this place, too. It was settled by the French in the 1700s. and All kinds of cool history. And there's our sign, seven miles. We're not that far from uh, Charleston, West Virginia. State capital of West Virginia. Maybe we'll check that out next day or so too. I'm trying to capture as much as I can. The whole trip right now, we're on the road to Dallas. I gotta be in Dallas by the first part of October. So picking up the pace a little bit, but hey. It's our VR TV. We're going to catch and film what we can. Plus, check it out. Here it is. Little Highway 160. Should cut us right down into town. Look how they mow the center divide and along the edges of the highways here. You don't, I'm not used to that. You know, in Arizona, everything's desert, rock, and dirt. 
cactus. <laughs> but not here. I bet fall colors, like I said earlier, are just gorgeous here. Yay, made it. Here's our last exit. We're going to take in Ohio. You can actually stay on 35 and go right over the river, but we're taking the scenic route. Okay, we're kind of zigzagging our way down into town. According to the phone, which I'm cheating, I always use Google Maps. <laughs> we're almost there. Got to make a right here. Yep. Here we go. And I'd say this is town here. Ooh, that cop just pulled out. He's got his lights on. I'd say someone's going to get a speeding ticket. It's 25 through here. There they are. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize it was that I was going that fast. <laughs> well, I hope they just get a warning. Alright, let's see. What should I do first? First thing, I need fuel. Then there's supposed to be a frontage street with some old buildings, big park old downtown area we're going to try to find then we'll work our way around there so downtown's to the right not this street next one up There you go, drive your little excavator down the road there. Well, let's see if I can get around them. Yep. Okay, the next street should be the main one. Highway 7? Yes. And Highway 7 is our scenic river byway. We took that a couple years ago up around Steubenville. Oh, look at that right there. There's a gas station. Let me pop in there real quick and top off the tank. Oh, straight ahead. There's the river. Ooh, we made it. All right, this will only take a minute. Right down here is diesel. Okay, cool. Let me get some fuel. Excellent. 
actually I just checked the phone we're going to take a, a frontage street should cut us right up into the old town area There's the Ohio River. There's our first look at it. Huge, isn't it? Just like the Mississippi. That's a big time uh, river. Okay, this should be a few blocks up here. All these folks have uh, the Ohio River up their back door. What a view. They probably can tell some stories. That river gets way up. It can flood. Well, there's supposed to be like an old tavern building. Old brick. Yeah, some of these buildings are huge. Ooh, I see a storyboard. Well, let's stop here first. Better watch that tree. <laughs> okay, let's go check it. Surgeon, World War One. Looks like he was pretty important around here. See what's on the back side here. Looks like same info. Cool. Check out this stone fence here. That's old. That has some dates on it. This looks like it's some kind of art gallery or something. Old brick sidewalk. That building is just mint condition. It's not open. We're going to head downtown anyway. What a cool place. The architecture back then. And they got a little story walk all about the French art. Okay, well, what do you say? We'll head back towards the uh, van, head downtown. And it looks right up here, there's another building where we get downtown. That tavern. Parking's a premium here. Uh. The river's right off to the left. I mean, we're following it. We're like, this is it. <laughs> Oop, here it is. Let's stop.
look at this thing. My goodness, that's a lot of bricks. Still standing. Imagine all the people that walked inside this thing. Our house tavern. Says there, what, 1825? Wow. It's also a museum, but it's only open a couple days a week. And today's not one of them. But think of the hit history. That Lafayette, I think, uh, when I was reading about some of the stuff last night, Lafayette was a general came to this town during the Revolutionary War. All of this in here dates back into the 1700s, 1800s, George Washington. <laughs> Boy, them guys came back now and seen what it was, huh? Cars and streets. That building almost looks identical. Okay, well, oh, look at the chimney in that house. Sorry. <laughs> I get caught up in this architecture. Let's go find that park. We'll check out Old Town, downtown. What a busy street. He almost get uh, run over here. I had to really run for the door of the van. <laughs> oh, cool. Look, park. Yay. Here we go. Plenty of parking. There's the river. And I can see Old Town off the right. Plus a big old park here, so this will be perfect. And looks like if I just turn around, I can park on the other side right there. The van's so long, I have to uh, take up two parking places. This will work. Picnic tables, benches. Just sit out here and watch the world go by, huh? Looks like a little boat launch area down there. Straight across, that's West Virginia. That's Ohio State Line. Few leaves dropping off that tree. Tis the season. Before you know it, falls here. How would you like to live here, huh? All these buildings are dated. Probably little businesses or maybe apartments. And it looks like street up here, there's some older buildings. 
Must be the ones I've seen online. Nice little park. Big gazebo over there. We'll cut back to the park. Ah, it feels good. What a pretty morning here. It's still early. You know me, I always get out early. Water truck is blocking my view. <laughs> there is that three story balcony right across. I'd like to sit up there, watch a parade, huh? Let's cut across the street a second. Looks like we're kind of at the end of it down here. Busy street here too. Yeah, check out them balconies. Isn't that cool? They even have ceiling fans. So when you're sitting out there, you got a little breeze blowing on you. There's the courtside bar and grill Morning. right downtown. Good. Oh yeah, here's the old buildings. You, you, when you look this place up on Google Maps, it, some of the pictures are these buildings. That's actually a Dollar General store, that old brick building. <laughs> oh, man. Why not, huh? Here's our park we can go through. I see a couple storyboards over here. What a neat little town right here on the Ohio River. It's starting to heat up too, that feel the heat. That's cool. Horse. That's accurate time. 25 to 10. Town clock. <laughs> yeah, these old buildings. Those walls could talk, huh? Arched windows. All the glass in them. That really shows the dates when you see windows like that. All right, what do we have here? Kind of hard to read, a little beat up. Talking about the city. City of the Gauls, huh? Huh. A lot of French history here, my goodness. Out here, you know, a lot of the wars, Civil War, Revolutionary War, a lot of that stuff came through here. 
tons of military history. Wow, those birds and stuff, very noisy here in the park, huh? Mother Nature, G.C. Murphy Company. Must be like an apartment store, maybe? Well, let's do this. We'll walk down towards the end, then we'll cut back through the park. One more look. Very colorful, very restored. All these buildings are in perfect shape. They kept it going through the years. That's good. Saving history. That looks like there's a restaurant or something up there. A big open deck on that roof. That's cool. Probably get a really good view of the river from up there. Well, I'd say this is the main little section of their historic downtown. Looks like it goes a little farther. When we drive out of here, I'll drive down through. So we won't miss it. Truthfully, I wasn't expecting all this. I didn't think it would be this big. This old and this big. Well, I kind of knew old when you look at this stuff online, but it sure is different when you see it in person. There's RV parks around, campgrounds. You're along the Ohio River. It's both sides, West Virginia and Ohio. That Highway 7 that's running through here is that scenic byway. Folks out walking their dogs. This must be like a little place you can probably got music maybe, huh? For all their town events. Well, let's cut back over towards the van and the river. Looks like a veterans memorial. We'll have to check that. It's so cool. Most of these small towns really honor their veterans, and they should. They actually have a wall of names here. Different wars. Just different times of history. There's Korean, World War II, Vietnam, probably local people that served. Very well done. Very powerful, isn't it? Well, I see more uh, 
plaques of storyboards across the street here. Right along the Ohio River. Yeah, that looks as big as the Mississippi, doesn't it? A lot of barge traffic. I think they got the lock and dam system along here too. I'm sure flooding's an issue. Wow, what is this? It's huge, whatever it is. I'll be darned. Rock or concrete? Seventeen ninety. Wow. <laughs> That's here forever, huh? Navigation systems, 50 year anniversary back in 1979. Here you go, the landing of the Welsh here, 1818, six families settled here from Baltimore. helped start it all this community puts on the back of the sign they always have more in the back it's kind of a long reach though <laughs> more history about the Welsh settling here 1830s and 1840s several hundred more families See, they had their economic times back then, too. It's part of life, huh? You know, that silver bridge collapsed here. I think it was in the 60s or maybe 70s. Might have been 60s. See what's on the other side of this one. You can feel falls coming in the air. Talk about the county, more about the town, more about the French settlers. This how the river, I mean this is a highway. The rivers are highways back then. For trade. Everything. Yeah, definitely feel falls coming in the air. It'd be cool to take a boat down to Ohio, wouldn't it? They probably got their uh, little paddle cruise boats, I'm sure. I'll have to check that one day. That's a huge parking lot down there for fishing boats. Public access, got a swing. I said earlier, you can just sit up here and watch the world go by. Probably watch the boats, the barges go by. We'll talk about history and historic. This little town has it all been here forever. I'm sure there's Native American, Indian settlements way before the settlers. Once again, that Ohio River, that was a highway. It was back eons. What a pretty little town though.
There's mighty West Virginia. We're heading there next. As soon as we leave here. Well, I'm gonna drive down that main drag, which is Highway 7. We got about two, three miles to get out of town before we can get down to the bridge. Mount Pleasant, West Virginia will be next. Another extremely old historic place. I just love those balconies. That would be so cool just to sit up there in the evening and just watch everything. Then a dollar store that's in an old brick building. That's got to be a first. Normally they're in those uh, little buildings that all look the same. I've never seen one like that. There's the Colony Movie Theater. Probably post office, courthouse. Busy little place, very colorful. Very colorful and unique. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. There you can sign up for my free newsletter, putting it out twice a month on the 5th and the 20th. Also, I got a merch store, all kinds of cool stuff, coffee mugs, t-shirts, hats. Holidays are coming up, make cool little gifts. Also, I got a cookbook out, Instapot cookbook, coloring books, and all kinds of stuff. Once again, it's rvrtv.tv, which helps support the channel and future travel videos just like this one. I appreciate it all. Okay, we're not too much farther down to the bridge. Then we'll cut on over to West Virginia. Right here is where we started. That's where I got the fuel. That's where we came in town. And looks like we keep following Highway 7. Make it right here. Part of the original summer plans before I got delayed was to explore more along the Ohio River here, but hopefully next year I'm not giving up on anything. So we'll be back. Looks a little more modern out this way. Walmart's out here. More businesses. Temperatures are really starting to heat up. It's getting close to noon. Feel the humidity. Wow. 
Wow, this is a long stretch. Oh, Bob Evans. Haven't seen one of those restaurants forever. Here we go. We're going to go across the Silver Memorial Bridge. Yeah, that bridge collapsed. I remember that when I was uh, younger, a long time ago. A lot of people lost their lives on that. Okay, we're actually getting right back on Highway 35, the road we were on earlier when we were coming into this area. See, you got to take the back roads, go check out these small historic towns, just like what we did. Spent a couple hours there and learned a lot. What a cool place it was, too. Okay, this is a Silver Memorial Bridge. So long, Ohio. Hopefully we see you next year. And hello, West Virginia. Journey continues. Talk soon.